Hi everyone! Today we are going to be doing something a little special on the channel. Welcome if you're new here. Hello if you, and thank you for watching if you've been watching. Um, we are going to be doing a game that Marissa and I invented a while ago called Sanders Situations. Now, it's based off of the Sanders sides, which you know we are big fans of. Basically, it started because we were in the river in a tandem kayak, and we, I turned to her and said, which side would you want to take to the beach with you if you could have a day on the beach with them? And so we just we started asking each other questions like that and making lists of like most to least. So we thought we'd turn it into a game and see how it does on the channel. And so of course, if you guys want more, please comment below, <laughs> share the video, whatever. Um, but so we have three categories for today. The first category is chaos. So these are all of the red slips. Um, Basically, chaos is any kind of situation, and they can be super, super specific, or they can be really, really random. Just anything that wouldn't be a normal situation you'd find yourself in, and they can be either of the two categories. So pop culture is the category that is set up as your blank, who's blank. So an example of this would be something like your Harry Potter, who's your Ron and who's your Hermione. And then every day are the blue slips and they are the um, situations I was talking about that we made in the kayak where you just make a list from the side you would want to have with you the most to the side you would want to have with you the least. So these are just things that you'd find every day. So who would you want to tutor you in social studies? Who would you want to go bike riding with? That kind of thing. And this one's the list. Okay, so we're gonna be pulling them out of this hat. All in there. I'll ask you one first. Closing my eyes. Pop culture is the first one. You're Sam. Who are your Dean and Castiel? <laughs> so I'm Sam. You are Sam. I'm kind of like Dean the and Cas. Yeah. Okay. So the plus could be they are also in love. So pick your shoes. Yeah, because Kaz is also remember is an actual angel. Gotta be honest with you, I don't think Remus is particularly. I don't think out. Remus really fits either of them particularly well. I don't know, I feel like Dean could be Roman. Definitely has that energy of like damsel in distress, everything. Cass is probably Virgil Homebrow. Like. <laughs> and he would in fact call you an abomination and have absolutely no regard. Yeah. Those aren't done piles, so go ahead. <laughs> yes. All right, you're a zero fail. Who's Crowley and who are the four horsemen? Okay. We're the floor horsemen of the apocalypse. War, pestilence, famine, and death. Um, let's see. Well, so, okay, so first off, easy. So if I'm a zero plus, I need like a demon. So probably not Patton is not going to be yeah. my. Mm -hmm. He might have been a zero fail, but it's because I'm a zero fail. Um, hmm. Actually get like major... Roman vibes from Crowley. Maybe Janice. Janice has big Crowley energy. Oh yeah. Like yeah, he just I sits on earth. He's like, yeah, I, I, I started the French Revolution, but he didn't. He's just lying it up, you know. Yeah, so I guess Janice would be my Crowley. The pestilence is like disease, so I guess Remus would be pestilence. The ickiest thing is disease and Remus just has that vibe. Famine, maybe. Maybe Patton. War? I think I'd actually pick probably Roman. Death? I would pick Virgil. Death in the show is like the calmest one and he kind of just was soft-spoken and was just vibing. So yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to see Phantom of the Opera <laughs> on Broadway. Who would you want to take the most and who's your least? Like, I feel like Roman would definitely vibe with it, of course, because it's like a musical, but I feel like Logan would also kind of enjoy it because it's kind of like lower brow in a way. Yeah, I'd probably take Roman. Um, the least likely I would take <laughs> Remus because he's just, I don't know, I feel like he would just like roll down the aisle. He's going to be like John Wilkes Booth. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't think I can tame him. He's not, no. he's not even like bringing, he's like bringing a five-year-old on crack to the opera. You can't do that. And I feel like he just has zero attention. I know it's not an opera, but I feel like it's a very dignified musical in a way. Like everyone who goes to it like wears all dresses and stuff and whatever. If mm -hmm. Roman couldn't go, oh. Let's see, Patton would get bored. Yeah, I still feel like Logan. 
Logan? I mean, yeah, I think he would, if out of any musical, he'd probably yeah. enjoy Phantom of the Opera. Alright, after Logan, then. Janice. He would like it. Janice, I have, I would almost place him over Logan. Yeah, maybe. He actually, it seems like he'd be someone who would love that, because he'd get to dress up in his little suit. <laughs> his little suit wow. and bow tie. He'd fit right in there. It's Janice, Logan, so you have Virgil and Pat and left. I don't think Virgil would Pat because Pat would just get bored. I think Virgil would like Phantom of the Opera. I feel like he'd find it soothing. Like he'd yeah, like the music. Like, yeah, it could go either way, really. Alright. Because he just would not have a, He just would. You're right, he would have a good time, but it would also include him like. Right. Chaos. All right, you, Adam Driver, <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres, and who make up the Olympic United States bobsledding team? Help oh, me, Adam and Ellen. So You're giving a first name basis with yeah, Ellen DeGeneres and Adam Driver. Yeah, of course I am. Not Remus. He would crash our thing just because. He would do it just. Just out of the way. I also I don't think I would trust Janice with that either. No. Roman, Logan, or Patton. I don't think Virgil would do very well either. I feel like yeah, he gets stressed. In the Olympics. Yeah, so I feel like any of the light sides would work because they all seem fairly strong. Well, yeah, I feel like Patton would like try, but I feel like he'd be bad at it. Either Roman or Logan, because Roman's great because he's strong and he probably would be like really good in terms of like representing the U.S. Like he'd have lost teams to it, but I feel like Logan is very calculating and he'd be calm. So if Ellen started to freak out, Logan could calm us down. <laughs> I think I would take Logan, because I feel like he would, even if he's not the most spirited, but he definitely would know, like, the exact angle we need to, like, turn the sled. Like, he'd know all the calculations and everything. So I think I'd pick Logan. Alrighty. Who's your college roommate? Virgil. You have an explanation, or are you just gonna leave it at that? Well, I wouldn't hate his music. He wouldn't want to go out. That's fair. All I can ask for, really. Remus is just probably the last person I would ever want to have as a roommate. No, because I feel like he just trashed the place. Everything smells like trash. His deodorant is pickled poo logs. I don't think I could. That was this quick. Yeah, it was very easy. Sped. We'd help hiding a body. Who's oh helping? My God. Who's your fake alibi? And who's the body? I gotta be honest with you, I think this is one of the only situations that Remus would be ideal. He would absolutely know about 8,000 ways under the sun to help hide a body. He'd be like, Does oh. that make the body Roman? Not necessarily. So I think the body, <laughs> I feel like the body would be Logan. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, as much as Remus, like, knocked Roman out right at the beginning, he, like, tr literally tried to kill Logan. He threw, like, a whole ninja star into his head. So. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> and then pulled the out his okay. teeth. Because if, if Remus was helping me hide the body, though, Roman would be less willing to be my alibi. Roman would be like, I'm not helping my- Was it me killing the book person yes. by myself? Oh, so Remus is just helping me hide the body. Then Roman. I would say Patton would be alibi. But just I feel like, like Patton, you know, if somebody was questioning, somebody would, he would crack under pressure. Patton would? That's true. He would crack. Actually, maybe Deceit's my alibi. Because all Deceit does is lie, so he would have absolutely zero issue. And he likes Remus, so Remus would, like, help me convince him. I'm glad we've decided that he likes Remus. They've never interacted. <laughs> yeah, Remus would help me hide the body. It would be Logan that I killed, and uh, Janice would be my alibi because he would lie about everything.
Let me put you in the mindset of this. You go to Target at 11.52 p.m. to get three items. Who pushes the cart? Who sits in the cart? Who gets lost in the toy aisle? And what three items were you retrieving? All right, well, I'm pushing the cart. Um, Remus is sitting in the cart. Patton got lost in the toy in the toy aisle. Wait, no, you're with them, but there's another person there that's pushing the cart. Oh, okay. There's another person that's pushing the cart. All right. Um, okay, well, Logan's pushing the cart. Yeah, and I'm I'm buying toothpaste, a hammer, and Legos. What that am I doing you... with those items? Why did you bring Remus with you anywhere? The world may never know. The fact that it's Logan pushing the cart with Remus in it is also so funny. And Pat's so lost in the toy just, aisle. Remus just pulling things. I told things. him to go get the Legos and he never came back. <laughs> Remus is just in the cart just pulling like four boxes of tricks into the cart. Yeah, and he's got like, he's got like fruit roll-ups. He's got like, he's like wrapped in them. He's a fruit roll-up on me. He's somehow got toilet paper, but you haven't even been down the bed and bath aisle. Why are you getting a hammer? <laughs> so scared. What is you forgot your pants. <laughs> Whose pants are you going to steal? Oh, Virgil's. He he's, he wears ripped black jeans. That's what I wear. Okay, they yeah. probably wear my pants. That he but don't forget, you also have to fight them for the pants. Virgil. Okay. Because he's a foot tall. Like right. you just step on him. Okay. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> just like give me, give them to me, give them to me. A road trip. And do you want me to pick where you're going? Will that help you? Yes. It's cross country, but you're going to Oregon. I'm sorry, is this like the Oregon Trail? Like, am I in a covered wagon or is this like a modern road trip? <laughs> so I'm glad you're well well if you do the Oregon Trail, you gotta tell me who's in your cart though. Fine, you're on the Oregon Trail. You're going to Oregon. If you're the mother, mm -hmm. who's the father? Who is and who are the two kids? And who's pulling the wagon? Remus is pulling the wagon because I feel like you just give him some like you just wave some cracks in front of him and you just go. I want Logan to be the father because I feel like he would have the best chance of surviving. What would he be? A farmer. I think he would be a banker. A banker? Oh yeah, no, he could definitely be a banker. Yeah. The two kids are gonna be Patton and Roman, and Roman can sit in the front and whip Remus. Yeah, but no, if it was like a regular, regular Wait, road who's trip, the I'd bring Roman and we can listen to Disney the whole way. So Patton. Can I just add, would absolutely be the grandfather. Like in Star Kids. You're Mario. I know. <laughs> Who are Luigi, Peach, and Bowser? Uh, Janice has to be Bowser. He was Bowser in the Redux. Like, does that make Remus Peach? Gotta ask. <laughs> Asking for a friend. Oh, cause Bowser likes Peach. Oh, then I have to change my answer <laughs> because I can't. Remus would be a great Peach though. How Janice got I'm sorry, him? sorry, Peach, but still with a mustache. Peach. Yeah, he's wearing that yeah. dress. Oh, he's got the whole dress on. It's literally just, it's just Remus Sanders, but with Peach's dress on. Then, yeah, like the opposite, but also like, your bro. Patton would make a good Luigi. Get Roman Remus. would be like, I'm Mario, move over. <laughs> Don't even talk to me. And he would yeah. never help me retrieve Remus. Patton is the only one who'd be like, oh. Yeah. Chaos. This is what the card looks like. You're on the run from two cops and swing a left into an alleyway to avoid them. You hear footsteps, so you grab someone and begin to kiss them to make yourself look innocent. Who's the stranger and who are the cops? What crime did you commit? Well, okay, that's easy. I committed murder. No, arson. Yeah, <laughs> arson. So I committed arson. The hog is committing arson. I'm running from Roman and Patton because it's like good cop, bad cop. Because like Patton's like, come back here, kiddo. And Roman's like, I got a sword. So you know, who's the okay. stranger in the alley? You just said would be in an alley. Five. Dare I say Virgil? Virgil would be in an alley. Well, I don't think Logan is a alley. No, he wouldn't be in an alley. He, Logan's, he goes Logan's home and he goes to bed at the 10. One. 
was, yes. Yeah, Logan house. is the CEO of a company and you just set the company on fire. I definitely set a whole building on fire. It wasn't a house. I set a building on oh, fire. Oh yeah. Maybe no, because like why would they yeah. setting something big on fire? We yeah. ain't going small. I set, I set Logan's big corporation on fire. Remember that if you kiss them, you have to explain afterwards. So it also has to be someone who's not going to turn you into the cops immediately or have a whack reaction to you kissing them. Okay, so not Virgil. Mm, I don't know, I feel like if you explain yourself, you'd be like, eh. And what if you don't have time to explain yourself? Like, you need someone who's gonna get it and go along with it. I, I just feel like Virgil would, like, panic in that situation. That's true. Or if you're time. in the back alleyway, like, making out, Virgil would, like, go ramrod straight and just would not look into it at all. Let's say, on the one hand, I feel like Remus would be, like, okay with it at first, but then I feel like he'd turn you in. Because he wouldn't what? actually give a crap. Yeah, I really no, feel like he wouldn't I think if he, Remus they would think you were the coolest person in the world if you just set a building <laughs> on fire. Oh, that's <laughs> true. Like, you just set a building on fire. Yeah, yeah no, Remus. If he was like, oh, I, can you kiss me because you're you Cause set Janice a building would turn you in either Janice way. Janice would be like, um, oh, officers. <laughs> Janice would turn you in either way. So, yeah, Remus. Is that camera slowly tilting up? Right. <laughs> It's gonna be the top of our heads by the time we're done with this. <laughs> easy, Roman, easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Roman is easy when I'm number one. I'm a huge roller coaster fan, and I feel like Roman is arguably the side who would vibe with every single ride in the park. On that same hand, I feel like Remus would also be fun. The only reason he's below Roman is because I feel like he'd be a little harder to control. Yeah, just... but I'd be like worried almost. Yeah, I feel like I you'd be on the road because you'd be like, what if I stepped out? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, you might just be like, let me just unbuckle my whole seat. It's like shove like eight corn dogs and like two sticks of cotton candy down his throat and then go on like the loopiest roller coaster and just throw up everywhere. And I don't want to do it. But like... I, Logan, I think would also vibe on Ryan. Logan is logic, so he knows that there's nothing really to be afraid of. But then again, he also might be like, one in three people get de decapitated on a roller coaster every year, and then I'd be like, mm. But he could also do what we do and just have a lovely conversation about the floor and fun in the area. Yes. Well, Virgil would probably be lower on my list because he, he is anxiety. And he's fear. So I feel like he'd have one of those irrational fears of roller coasters. I mean, he might be fun if you go to like Six Flags and do the water park for the day. And Patton also would be lower. You know, he's one of those it's like, I only ride the teacups, kiddo. <laughs> Do you think Janice would like rides? I feel like he would and then pretend like he wouldn't. He'd be like, woo. <laughs> but would he, he'd ride them. But I feel, no, he would go on them and I feel like he'd enjoy them, but he would never let anyone know. These situations are just all too stressful to put Patton at the top because they're all just like, murder. Your Prince Naveen from the movie The Princess and the Frog. Who's Dr. Felicier and who is his shadow behind Isn't him on the Facilier? wall? Facilier? Facilier? Felicier? Shadow man! <laughs> who's the shadow man who turns you into a frog and who's his shadow? Janice mean? Remus. Remus is the shadow, right? Yes, Remus yeah. is the shadow. Janice. Janice Remus. acts like the shadow man anyway. He, he literally <laughs> acts and dresses like him. Remus would, okay. if Janice could, he'd snap his fingers and turn you into a frog. Like, that's just his whole vibe. So, I like, there's no reason he yeah, should. Yeah, that was an easy one, yeah. both hands in the whole hat um you have to bring a date to your 10-year high school reunion oh my god <laughs> in, in this scenario did i go to high school with the sides no i think you're just trying to impress all your high school friends so I'm okay, that's yes fine. it's fine it's just pouring rain roman's just that classic like oh he's impressive because he's kind of like a jock but he's also really sweet like he's very very charming and he would treat you really nice the whole night yeah it's high school so like you just kinda, at the same time is not caring what everyone thinks. You also want to make also it look wanna, like you have done better than everybody be like, else in life. Really, let's be real here. The whole point of high school reunion is just to be like, haha, my life is better than yours now. I went further and I went to the same exactly, class as you. And I have, yeah, so I, I did what I should have with my life, and then you are here. <laughs> He's a prince, so you could have kind. You could also kind of flex that, arguably. That's, yeah. Then probably Patton, because I feel like Patton would be like. Just super, like, he would definitely be, like, the date that people talk about just because he was so nice and he was yeah. just so sweet. And he would also not leave you alone. No, that's true. He would just be friends with everybody. He'd just have a good time. Then Logan, because Logan would also impress people. And he'd be fun, too, because Logan would, like, analyze people and you could kind of laugh. He could be like, oh, I can tell you what their job is. Yeah. <laughs> kind of flex off. Janice would also, he holds himself very professionally. Not only that, but I feel like... 
He if he fun. liked you, he would like lie and talk you up, kind of. Yeah, he and but also if he, he secretly he dated dated you. like Janice is just you know kind of a beep. So he just yeah, like, he's... he'd sit there and just be gossipy with you. Yeah, you could like kind of fill him in on the people. You could be didn't... like, "That's Jessica. We don't get along." Yeah, and like, then oh, she like... looks terrible in that dress. <laughs> Janice would leave you. Yeah, he would. Then Virgil, because Virgil, I think, would be stressed about talking to that many people because high school reunions are literally just everyone coming up to you and being like, hi, how are you? And getting the whole life story from everyone. So Virgil would just be so stressed. And then Remus. Exactly. You don't want to bring Remus. <laughs> you, everyone will think you went to jail. I was going to say, and Remus you smoke crack like, now. Like. Remus. All right. The last one? Oh, no, one we have one more for you. Culture. You're Batman. Oh. Who's your Robin and who's the Joker? See, I feel like Patton is Robin and Remus is the Joker. Remus just isn't. He already is the Joker. Joker, stop right there. Yeah, kiddo. Stay where you stay where you are, the little under the little lamppost. I got you now, Batman. And I feel like Remus has exactly one brain cell and it just bounces around in his head like the DVD logo. <laughs> like, and it never hits the corner. Remus would make a good Joker. He definitely, he definitely would vibe with clown paint on. Oh, hang on. You know what? One second. Let me just get, there's something on my camera. I can't see. <laughs> that smudge was bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video, though. Ones are all pop culture and... I <laughs>